Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or a bucket plugin slash spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week, usually on Fridays, a little bit late again this week, but that's how it goes. At least I'm getting this done. If you have a suggestion of plugin you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. That would be the comment section for you new people. And I will give you a shout out when I get to it. Like this week is brought to you by Green Steve. Stiv and Leo Horwitz and Nadja Bulj Tutorial Jalali. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. But anyway, it is a plugin called Chat Control by Kang Garko. Hopefully I pronounced that right. And it is fantastic. What it does is about the same thing that five or six plugins do. It does some, it's basically an all-inclusive chat control system. It does your chat formatting, does your chat filtering your spam and advertise stopping and bot rejoin stopping it it lets you do ch uh, custom join commands custom reply commands to people trying to get access to different commands it does um it does broadcasting so like automatic messages like last week you know where it's just it's filtering through it even does that per world very simply which is super cool and it, it, it'll play sounds when somebody talks to you. It'll do sign checks even as well and sign filtering. So let's get into it. Uh, there's not a whole lot to do in the game. And it's actually everything that it does can be disabled or modified or changed. Okay, so now you, you can see that there, the automatic message is already going. I have it set to every 30 seconds just so we can see it going. So CHC list is the first command we wanna do, and that is gonna basically tell you all the commands that you can do. You can do some fun ones, you can do chc fake join notch, and then you can do that, kinda of tease some people. You can do chc mute, and then you could do a silent mute, which means it doesn't tell the player that they're being muted, or you can do an anonymous mute, which means it doesn't tell them who muted them, and then you put their username, and then the time, which, I or, and then the reason. It doesn't actually do an automatic timeout, but you, then you put the reason jerk. And there we go, I've muted myself. So now we can you can unmute yourself by doing mute again. It basically toggles it on and off. There isn't a mute, unmute. And then you can clear somebody's chat message, CHC, clear, um, cause, jerk. So then it clears all my chat messages that I've had so that it's just, you know, it removes it from the list so people don't see that anymore. And then you can do CHC reload. Now, CHC reload is actually probably not something you wanna do. If you make any changes to the config file, the author says that it can break some stuff and it would highly recommend that you just restart your server completely if you're making those changes. I noticed that, I made a change in the broadcasting system and then did a reload and it didn't actually do anything it wasn't until i restarted the server that the broadcasting started working actually no it wasn't the broadcasting it was the broadcasting and it was the chat formatting also did the same thing it didn't work until i rebooted it so you got to do a clean restart as far as permissions there's a lot of permissions by default op has access to all of them and there's you know, with it not really being much you can do in game, um, really not much to go over. I'll put a link to the permissions below and you can guys can just check to see what's there and select what you like. Now the perm that is kind of important is, you know, I mentioned that you can get a notification when somebody mentions you or puts an at and then your username. Now the permission for that is chat control dot notify dot when mention and your default users or your users will need that if they want to get a sound. So let's hop over, take a look at the config file and see how everything's configured. All right, so all this stuff is in the plugins folder after you've started your server. This does work with 1.8. If you're having trouble, check your server log and see if it, it started. There is a few dependencies that it didn't hit at the beginning. If you want to do chat formatting, you have to... Um, you have to be running Vault, and if you're running 1.8, you need Vault 1.5 plus, and if you're running 1.7, you need Vault 1.41. If you want the custom uh, 
commands, rejection, and all that stuff, you need to run protocol lib. I'll put the links in the in the jibbles or the description below. So the first thing we're looking at is the settings.yml. This is kind of a lot of everything. This is pretty much all the things that it does. So here's there's the anti-bot. This will stop people from rejoining too quickly. Um, Anti-caps, basically it'll filter people's chat so that if they put too many caps in a row, it'll block it. And then you can create a whitelist here. You got your anti-spam. So if people are saying the same thing over and over too much, it'll block that. And then there's a delay. You can whitelist some things. You can whitelist commands. So keep in mind, sometimes if you have any kind of scripts that will just automatically run a series of commands, this will most likely break it because it sees those commands as going too quickly. Now here's your chat. Now this is the chat format section. Now for this to work, you need vault. And this replaces basically like essentials chat or uh, the old uh, chat chat something that came with PEX, which doesn't anymore. But anyway, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You got your message format, you got your prefix player suffix and then message and you can put whatever you want in there. Um, and then a global message format. Now keep in mind, you don't really need this if you're unless you're going to use uh, ranged mode, which is kind of cool. So if you want people to only talk to people who are within a certain area of each other, you can turn this on and then they will only see the chat for people who are close, which is really cool. You can turn on grammar uh, so that if they put in, you know, it'll automatically capitalize the beginning of their sentence and periods at the end. Um, Here's the clear section. Here's messages. Here's where you can set your custom join, quit, and kick messages. If if you do default, leave it there, um, or you can hide it in here, or you can change it. And then there's the variables, player, prefix, suffix, country code, and, and country name if you're using AuthMe. So then you have your timed. This is your message broadcaster in here. Um, you can do enabled. By default, it's false. Random order. I do like to do random. By default, it's false. Um, you could change the prefix of it in here, as you saw in there. It said tutorial. You can set your delay. Now, this is in seconds, so I think like 600 seconds is five minutes. Just a side note there. And then you put your messages in here. So that your global is going to be for all the worlds. And then each one of these is an example of a world name. So if you have different world names, you can change this and uh, put custom messages in it for that world, which is super cool. And then you can actually, if you put in exclude global, so that is going to exclude the global message, that will remove that one from that world. And then you can have your own messages for that world, which is really cool. Here's your mute uh, section and then packets. Now this is requires protocol lib this is this is where it will intercept any custom uh like insufficient permissions messages and then and uh repeat that i'll show you guys where you can modify that in a few moments here here's your rules this is where you're going to set up your spam your like swear filtering and all that stuff console yeah and then you got your signs. So now this is where you can enable it to check signs to make sure, you know, or if you don't really want to check signs, you can make it so players can't use the same signs anymore. This is where you can enable sound, notify the sound that is played. And that's it for the settings that YML. Like I said, that's pretty much all the things that you can enable, disable, modify in there. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly how to go through this next bit. Now, um, this would be in your rules folder, and, your, and we're gonna we're gonna hit the handlers next. Uh, maybe we'll hit the rules first. So in here, you got a whole bunch of TXTs. You can open these in Notepad++, which is what I highly recommend to be using for all of this. And so we're gonna take a look at the rules first. Now this is where you can set how things are managed, basically, and what. This, this probably looks really crazy. What these are are regular expressions. Now, this is probably the most complex part of the entire plugin is setting up these expressions. Now, I'll put a link to a place that will explain each one of these, but basically the slash B tells at the beginning of the phrase to look for, and then it basically is going to take 
uh, like these these vertical lines are alternate so it can be this or that yeah it's kind of complicated even for me might want to just use these default things and then see if you can modify them and then uh try now uh, a couple things that you can put in here is you can actually uh create custom permission nodes in here if then notify anybody who has this so then it'll tell like if you have put, give your mods that it'll notify them what they said um there's a few other things in here this there's a lot to go over in this section this is probably the most complicated part but i think that if there's some great examples in here you guys can go off of you can set a custom id to each rule that you want and then you can tell it how to handle. So handle as an advertisement, handle as swear. Now what that tells it to do is it looks over at the handlers.yml file. So we're gonna hop over here. Now you can see we have two custom handlers in here. So you can buy this, each one of these has its own, um, you can copy these, paste it, and then modify it based upon what you want. So an advertisement, if, if the person has chat control .bypass .add, then it means that they can do this thing. It is ignored in these commands. It broadcasts to the player, please do not advertise. And then it, it goes global message. And then it alerts the staff with this permission. And then it, it blocks the message and then it writes it to a log file. And then the same thing with the swear and that but then people can have the bypass it's the same layout of there so that's what this is doing it's saying handle as swear and then it points at the handlers file and then it tells it what to do so now let's keep going let's hop over to the chat the chat.txt now this is the ba basic grammar corrections what this does is it, the slash b to slash b, to b tells this is the word it's looking for and if you do dis then it says then replace with this and then match wanna then replace with want um and then you could do some things like prevent asking for rank so if they say can i have op or mod or whatever and then it says then then it returns to them currently they're not looking for staff that kind of stuff um you can even have it where it replaces these certain characters with the smiley faces which is really cool so you can have some fun stuff with this you can replace swear words with, with like other nicer words or something like that um and then here's where you can you can run the commands now this is where you need protocol lib is it will match if somebody does slash op it'll say um it'll return this message like very sarcastic kind of message the same thing with game mode and heal and of course it'll ignore the people with these perms which is kind of so you can add those permissions to them so it's matching the carrot which is the start of a string and then the the command so the next part is the sign now the only thing that's made in here by default is putting swag so basically if you put swag on a sign it'll just the sign will just pop up and it'll not let them use the sign so you can put any kind of things in here you could do the same thing as the swear word section you can match you basically like copy uh copy these over to your sign and then make it like that which is kind of cool now the packets this is the other thing of basically if uh, you have any kind of messages that are coming from any other kind of plugin you can change those here maybe you have a plugin that doesn't let you change those messages you can change them here so here's here's where um, they've rewrote the uh, insufficient message for bucket or s essentials which basically like I'm sorry you do not have permission to perform this so if it sees that it will it'll say don't post it and then it'll rewrite it to insufficient privilege so that's pretty much it i know i didn't uh show you guys much of how it works but i think you guys can get the idea of it um this plugin is very extensive uh the rules section is kind of the most complex i'll see if i can find any other helpful stuff out there about how they work and how to set them up any other websites that'll help you learn those reg uh, regular expressions but anyway, I hope that was helpful. Hopefully you guys enjoy the plugin. This is Cos from McFriends reminding you all, enjoy the game. God bless. Uh -oh.